Thank you. Well, it used to be an elementary school. Now it's used as a tactical training facility for the Minneapolis Police Department. And there's a new round of concern from residents after years of practice in the same building. Fox 9's Jack Heiberger live outside the department with more on this story. Jack? Yeah, some people expressing their concern at a recent Minneapolis Public Schools school board meeting. Others expressing their concern directly to Minneapolis police. But as you mentioned, this is not a new thing. Minneapolis police have been using this school for years. There's sights and sounds. Gunshots. You don't expect in a place like this. Yeah, I want to go here. At one time, a gun or shell casing was about the last thing neighbors would ever expect to see at Willard Hay Elementary. This facility has been in use with the Minneapolis Police Department for several years. But for nearly 10 years, the now empty building has taken on a new role. Minneapolis Public Schools leasing the old building to Minneapolis Police. And this is another training that is providing the officers all the tools and the training necessary to keep the public safe. Officers using what's referred to as simunition. Simunition is the world leader in safe, realistic interactive firearms training. A non lethal training round seen here in a promotional video for the ammunition. The people that live around the, in the neighborhood are not actually hearing gunshots, they're hearing something very similar to a cap gun. But the facility is not without its complaints. I took over 140 pictures of each one I picked up. North Minneapolis activist Philip Murphy worries about the casings and live rounds he says he picked up on school grounds. So they dropped this stuff here in a community that, of all in the city, is least able to defend itself. Others expressing concern about noise and the choice to hold the training in a residential area. If it wasn't here, it'd probably be better. But, but most we talked yeah. to who live here were largely indifferent. Some even say they like the training and it makes them feel safe. Either way, it could be over soon. The contract between Minneapolis Police and Minneapolis Public Schools set to expire in four weeks. And Minneapolis police also use other facilities in the city for this tactical training. No word yet on whether or not they're going to renew this contract. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Jack Heiberger, Fox 9.